Thank you very much, Carson. Well, we have got our hands full over here, right, Deborah? Yes, we do. Deborah Jobs is here with the SPCA, and she just brought the two cutest puppies with her. Who are these sweet babies? So this is Schmidt. That's Schmidt. Not his best angle. <laughs> here you go, Schmidt. And this is Coach. Coach. And they um, are our new girl litter, which I understand is yes, a series. Yes, it is, and I, I'm a fan. Are you? Okay, I am. see, I'm, I'm going to have to catch up. Yeah, you will. <laughs> um, we have two other siblings in this litter, okay. uh, another little girl and another little boy. These okay. are both males. They're nine weeks old. And this little, this little guy is, is a pretty good example of what we think they are mostly, which is the Catahoula, yeah. the, the spotted gray I was about to say, seeing yeah. that gray with the spot, and on, on his little eyes, eyes too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so these, these little guys are probably going to come in around 45, 50 pounds. Okay. Um, boys will be a little bigger than the female. Right. But they're great dogs. Oh, these are playful, so sweet smart, um, easy to train. Mm -hmm. um, they're just all around. Their foster mom tells me these guys love to watch TV. <gasps> oh, well, don't we all? That's like yeah. good. That's a good quality for a dog to have. You want them to be able to run around outside, but you also want them to kind of lounge on the couch with you at home. Absolutely. Now, where where were these puppies from? You know, I was just asking the foster mom, and we we have gotten so many in recently. I have to apologize. I'm not exactly sure. Mm -hmm. We do not have the mom, which tells me they were probably in abandoned litter or surrendered litter. As you know, many litters are unplanned. Right. Surprise! Yeah. Well, and you know, unfortunately, that's the sad fact, I'm sure, of what you guys it do is, is you is. lose track of all these puppies and where I they came from. I used to know every single dog. When we were at about 60, mm -hmm. and now we're at 180. It's just too hard so to keep I, up. Mother Hubbard just too. hasn't got it going on. Uh, I don't look, know. You're forgiven. You're okay, forgiven. Thank now, you. Now, <laughs> where could people go to learn more about these two guys and their sister and other brother? Uh, SPCA East tx.com is our website. You can look at our adoptables there. You can also make application. It's a really short application. It's a quick process and it sends you right to our coordinator's desk. So uh, it gets the, uh, the process started. And then if you have other pets in the home, we'll set up what's called a meet and greet. Mm -hmm. Have you come meet the, bring your existing pets and we meet in a neutral place so mm -hmm. that your existing pets don't feel threatened and make sure everybody gets along. Now you guys, like you said, you have over a hundred animals in your care really. Oh my gosh, yes. And uh, you are constantly getting more and more every day. This is not just a one and done thing. Do you guys need anything? Is there anything that people can do to help out? There's so many things you can do from yeah. small to large. Our biggest lifeline to saving lives is fostering. Right. And we set you up, we give you the supplies, we, we help you integrate, and we put fosters in your home that will work with your family and lifestyle. Right. It's no cost to you, just a little love and time. So fostering is like at the top of our wish list. Yeah. You can always take a break if you need one. Mm -hmm. um, but also you can, you can donate food and supplies. Our wish list is on our website. Or you can just make a monetary donation if you're short on time and, mm -hmm. and just feel like you want to help out some way. So all of that's on our website. Right, absolutely. And is there anything that people need, um, like qualifications, in order to foster? Well, we do make sure that you know what you're getting into. Right. So there'll be a little Puppies. bit of a, of, a, of a coaching and a <laughs> yeah. counseling session. Um, but, you know, people that have never owned a pet can still foster. Yeah. We just make sure that you understand what puppies get into, like yeah. they chew on cords. They do. They will open cabinet doors. They sure do. And they require a little cleaning. But know? they have so much love, oh, so it's, much it, energy. You know, it's and great to teach your kids responsibility, a little bit of responsibility. And, and tenderness and kindness. That's so right. I just think it's great. Of course I'm biased. Well, you know <laughs> what? I am too. And I think it's great. So, you know what? If you are interested in helping out these babies, you can always donate. You could foster or maybe you could take one home. That would be the best thing right Absolutely. there. Thank you, Deborah. And of course, always thank you for bringing dogs of course, on. Thanks for having it us. It makes us happy. All right. We will be back with more of East Texas Live in a couple of minutes. So stay with us.